Dead Space Remake Walkthrough Part 1. Hello everybody, salut tout le monde, minasan konnichiwa, this is Goyukin here, and you know what, I'm your host. <laughs> Bioshock, Bioshock Remat, man, this game was great, Bioshock, Bioshock 2, Bioshock, survival horror game, Alien Isolation. Okay, so, um, so today... We're gonna have fun. The video that you're watching right now. Well, <laughs> I started to work on the video the, 20, the 28th. The 27th, I think. I started to work on the video the same day. The game has been released today, January 27, 2023. And uh, I'm about to play it with you. So this will be my first live commentary ever. I hope you're ready. This is going to be my first playthrough. Is it a walkthrough? No. Well, yes, kind of. This is going to be my first walkthrough, playthrough, with live commentaries. Oh, yeah. Dead Space hit the shelves. January 27, 2023. I just bought the game a few hours ago. Okay. Here we go. Dead space. So this is the remake. Select difficulty. Okay, let's try impossible. Okay, that's it. End of the walkthrough. Playthrough. Dead space remake part one. I enjoy the game. Now time for extras. Extra, but with an S. <laughs> A nice and cool conclusion. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's start by from the dev side of things. Here are some noticeable info. Changes and addition made to the game. Things I didn't notice and other that I didn't really pay much attention. Pretty busy playing the game. Getting my bearings. Trying to survive. <laughs> Basically the same story and structure as the original, but with redesigned assets, character models, and environment. Rebuild on their own new engine Frostbite. The game has no camera cut, no loading screen, no microtransaction. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Would you hear that? Never go! Security call required. Maybe I can help. Security card. To enhance fear and stress, the devs have created the Intensity Director. Oh yes! Content organization spawning and placing control system, as they describe it. Enemies spawn, lighting and audio effects can change depending on a wide variety of factors. They did a pretty good job with the sound design, which is great! More, 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 more accurate sound positioning depending where you are in the environment. Improvement in Isaac breathing, heartbeat, vocals, dialogues through their alive system. <laughs> this is pretty impressive. Ah, oh, also. Isaac Dialogues changes in relation with his mood, apparently. Now, from my side of things, Goyukin, impressions and opinions. Here. Here's what's popping out of my head as I was playing the game. And after completing the first three chapters, four hours of gameplay, in no particular order, 
Well, where should I start? The good, the bad, or the ugly? <laughs> I don't know. Let's start with the ugly. Why not? Decontamination sequence complete. Thank you for your patience. In terms of release date, Callisto Protocol should have been released in October and Dead Space the 1st of December. It would have helped both games with the cells number. Callisto for Halloween and Dead Space for Christmas. Like in cinema, gaming is no exception. Some publishers fuck up their release date. Uncensor, please. The ugly out of the way. Let's take care of the bad now. Centrifuge activated. Re-establishing balance with tectonic load. Okay, but just before that, let me tell you quickly something. What I think in general about the game after a few chapters. Looks like the centrifuge is back online. All that's left is restarting the engine. This outbreak started on the colony after the miners dug up some artifacts. Something alien. That's impossible. But it would explain why Aegis 7 is meant to be off limits, right? Earth Cup's orders. When the miners found the artifact, they reported hallucinations, paranoia, suicides. But the Ishimura brought this marker on board anyway. Like that was a plan. My overall impressions about the game are, to say the least, quite mixed. But in a rather positive way. Okay, let's try to find a way to illustrate what I mean. Well, just give me a second. Okay, okay, I've got it. <laughs> okay, I've got it. The Captain Transformation sequence the transformation of the captain you know the introduction of the parasite the introduction of the parasite <laughs> iconic this is an iconic scene in the first dead space 2008 version where you witness with total control of your character isaac the captain corpse being reanimated as he transformed before your eyes Breaking the glass of the room to attack you! To attack you. To attack you? Oh yeah, baby. This is 100% pure immersion that takes you by surprise in the original game. In the remake, you've got an impressive cinematic scene of the event that takes the control out of your hands. It is as much horrifying, a bit more disgusting, but a lot less scarier. This is what I think. This represents very well what I think of the remake, my first impressions. Okay, let's get back to the bad. Difficulty mode. Impossible mode is the same as hard difficulty, but with permadeath and one save slot only. Which is okay, but not enough. They should have added an extra mode difficulty. Another one, more challenging, with more enemy, slightly faster, that inflict more damage. You're flying us through the planet, crack debris? But the ADS is offline. I've got the system readouts here. Less ammunition and resources. A little bit like Dead Space 2. Me personally, if I was a dev, the game director. I'll be making a video game that's almost impossible to speedrun under 50% of the real running time, at least on the hardest difficulty mode. Let's call it impossible, impossible to cheese it, impossible to cheese mode. Activated. 
You okay? At least containment and life support are holding. So far. Why not introduce one more unknown enemy? A kick-ass one. This is technical uh, gibberish. Sometimes, sometimes inconsistency in the haptic feedback utilization or implementation. I'm talking about things only related with the PS5 DualSense controller here. The haptic feedback was great in the intro sequence. But, but, <laughs> but, but when the white circular halo appeared, Coming around the Killian ship, there's no vibration on the controller. Only for a couple of seconds, maybe, which break the immersion. By the way, this is not the right visual effect with ship re entry in a planet atmosphere. Laws of friction, of course, would create or emanate different visual patterns of cone shaped form, more related to the fuselage of the Killian ship. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, for Subinat's sake, <laughs> at least put the vibrator on, on the controller, that is. <laughs> the minute! <laughs> The minute, the minute, the minute, the minute they made Isaac a vocal protagonist. They break the pure and real immersion of the original Dead Space game. Yeah, that's right. Game! Do you understand that, you beep, 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 I'm reading electrical hazards on the floor ahead of you. 60-year-old dead plane doesn't play well with power surges. Watch your step. At the outskirt of a planet, mostly alone, Without speaking, you are stuck in space in a mighty spaceship with humanoid alien life form killing members of your crew one by one. That's isolation, all right. Alien 1979 by Ridley Scott. Alien isolation, all right. Pure real immersion. Hello, uh, good job by the way, uh, creative assembly. People at the creative assembly. No, it's not in the script. Keep to the sc original script. <laughs> sometimes, underwhelming voice acting. Yes, sometimes. Underwhelming! Underwhelming voice acting. Sometimes, underwhelming voice acting. Yes, sometimes. Better voice acting in the original Dead Space. Especially Isaac. <laughs> no, seriously. Nicole voice acting was better. More emotional, more in distress. For example, at least so far after three chapters. Cut! I said cut! <laughs> I said cut! Damn it! Character design could have been better. Yeah. I definitely prefer the look of Isaac. The face of Isaac in the first game. <laughs> I prefer the character design of Isaac in this game. Warning. Multiple security. 
security protocols have been corrupted. Some errors may be inacceptable. Recommendation. Acquire deposit rig permissions and compile master security override at this console. What's that? A recording? Huh. Must be the marker they took up. He's way better looking uh, in Dead Space 2. In this remake, Isaac doesn't look like an engineer who worked very hard with his clean shame. Sorry, Gunner. Nicole? Entering vacuum. Entering zero gravity. Nicole? She looks too old. She looks too old. She's less attractive. <laughs> Compared to the original. I would personally prefer her looking relatively younger and attractive. But <laughs> a bit tired and stressed out. Meaning what? slight dark half circle under the eyes and maybe even slightly puffy but <laughs> but still young hot and sexy nicole she's too cold and distant in this remake yes girl you're cold girl too cold girl you're out of touch i'm out of time <laughs> God, God, I say, God damn it. Kendra, well, she's looking good here. Yeah. I would do her. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Uh, somebody said that I'm a kid. Yes, I hope I'm a fucking kid. Warning. Hull integrity compromised. Sinking targeting system. And I hope to stay a fucking kid till the end of time. Yes, 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 yes. Let's, let's concentrate here for one second. Calibration complete. Cannon auto targeting online. Uh, Kendra. Kendra? Well, she's looking good here. She's looking good. But. <laughs> this is insane. Sinking targeting system. <laughs> Well, 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 well. Just give me a minute. Oh, 
focus. Where was I? Ah, Kendra. Warning. Hull integrity approaching critical. But again, I would prefer the tight and sexy outfit she was wearing in 2008. I just love the fashion of this era. You know? Focus. Gotta shoot! <laughs> Gotta shoot those damn meteorites. When they knew how to highlight the beautiful attributes of women, their lovely curves. Their lovely curves. <laughs> Data migration complete. Oh yeah, baby. ADS recalibrated. Auto targeting systems enabled. They're back. The ADS cannons are online shipwide. Thank God. Engaging autopilot. Get yourself inside, Isaac. I think I figured out our next move. Hammond? Hammond looked too young for the chief security officer of the USG Kellyan. Being older in the original game suit more his high-ranking position. If Hammond is dressed tight and sexy in the remake, why not Kendra? Fashion, fashion, fashion. And look. Ay, 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 ay. Caramba. <laughs> Victim de la mode. Télé, télé, son nom de code. <laughs> uh, this is a senior medical officer, Nicole anyway. Brennan. Medical is a sanctuary. All survivors, please join us. While we're at it, why not talk about the look of the background design? At least one element. Blue and red electric wires in the game doesn't blend very very well with the rest of the world design, the environment, and it's too generic, traditional. Mirror's Edge and a bunch of other games are doing the same thing. Alien Isolation, for example, did a way better job did a great job in helping players with spatial and directional orientation without distracting us. Kindly avoid disturbing my other patients. What is this? Research, of course. I'm so close to finding that missing factor. Are you not talking just to understand? Now, this one is not really a criticism. Let's just say a tiny criticism. Critique. I was not really impressed. Or should I say surprised by all the death animations so far? It's a bit underwhelming in terms of variety. Then again, I only play the first three chapters of the game. <laughs> it's not true. It's not really true. But as you can see, and as you will see, I play a little bit more. Half of the game. The first six chapters. To make this conclusion. I talk too much. So I need more visual for the conclusion. <laughs> but the animations of those deaths are great. Are great! Visually stunning. Sometimes pushing a lot of polygons. The power node system to unlock the doors have been dropped or maybe removed.
Last and most interesting and probably most controversial point. Controversial critique. Critique. <laughs> I know everybody's going to disagree with this one. But I'm 100% right on this. Too much mobility in zero G. For the first chapters at the beginning. Probably the first five chapters. Instead of diminishing the utility of the nodes in the game, as they did, and missed a great opportunity to expand upon it, I think they could have used the node system to improve the suit, regarding or related to thrusters efficiency, making the game more interesting, challenging, and original. Yeah, baby. <laughs> For example, when the Kellyan get destroyed and Isaac ran or is being pushed into the security fence in the anger docking bay this is senior medical officer Nicole Brennan. due to the explosion, Isaac could have damaged his suit. Shipwise transmission override. Isaac Clark. Isaac! Isaac could have damaged his suit. His thrusters. Then, the need to repair and upgrade them. Then, the need to repair and upgrade them. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> Alright. Dr. Brennan's nearest and dearest. I know the game is set in the future. Year 2508. I suspect you're not the talkative type. And I haven't fully explored the cause of death. But each spacewalk at the International Space Station are meticulously, carefully planned and potentially dangerous endeavor. Any mistake can be fatal for any astronaut. Any mistake, any mistake can be fatal. Uh, what the first Dead Space got right was the lack of mobility in Zero G. That's for sure. Whether it was intentional or not from the original devs, each time Isaac was in zero G, it was hazardous, perilous enterprise. Each time more and more dangerous by the presence of any xenomorph. Lack of mobility was great and should have been implemented at the first chapters of the remake. This implementation of the thruster in the node system well, it's not too late for the future upcoming Dead Space 2 remake. Oh yeah! <laughs> it's not... <laughs> it's not too late. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> so that's it. Dead Space! Dead Space Remake is not the perfect game. 
There's a lot of things I would have done differently. Even if I didn't finish the game as we speak right now, I would be very, very surprised that this version is better than the original. If it's not just for the fact that it's a remake. My score? 8.5 for Dead Space Remake. Which is great! <laughs> Which is great! Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> it's a bit too dark. <laughs> Which is great! Let's light up the place. A little bit. And nine, and nine for the original, which is excellent. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Dead Space, like Resident Evil 4, didn't need a remake, but they both deserve one. This is beautiful. So, um, great, fantastic. Well said. Fantastically well said. EA and Motive Studio Montreal. They accomplish a lot in a very short period of time. Very, very short period of time. Really, it's quite impressive. It's quite impressive. But me, personally, I would have delayed the game. I would have delayed the release of this remake of one year and tried to push boundaries of video gaming. Dead Space Remake is a more conventional game to review compared to, um, let's say, Alien Isolation to evaluate with its amazing AI, reaching a level of excellence never, 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 never seen before in the gaming industry. <laughs> but one is a remake and the other one is a new IP. Oh yeah! Dead Space 2008 was Resident Evil 4 on steroids. On crack! That introduced some gameplay element also never seen before in gaming. Never seen before. Oh yeah! Warning! Local door protocols corrupted. Rebooting system. Please stand by. Great positive things that had huge impact in the gaming industry. Dead Space propelled the horror genre into the mainstream like no other game did previously, especially the gory side of horror. We're all dying. There's poison, but there's still time. The end time will work if... <laughs> she just needs liquid nitrogen. Save us! Oh yeah! Something's poisoning the oxygen and... Shit, he was right. Air quality is dropping ship-wide. After the ugly and the bad, now it's time for the good. Your protocols rebooted. Thank you for your patience. And tag! Good and tag! <laughs> now it's time for the good. I saved the best for last. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah! Mr. Clark, forcing me to liquidate my research subjects. They're good, they're good, they're good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, 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 red god. The good, the good, good, red god. So, okay, the good. So, what's good? What's good? Here we go. Here we go! Here we go! <laughs> Here we go! Good. 
great immersive atmosphere, great beautiful graphics, great background design, great visuals, lighting, lots of particle effects. We can see through fog, shadow, colorful explosions, excellent sound design, and great music. Clearing. Mercer, pump that gas in from hydroponics. The air's already that bad. I'm gonna need a faster way to cryogenics. I'll open the other door from the chemical lab. It'll take you straight there. Okay, while you're watching me having fun in the inventory, I'll go pee and grab some snack. I'll be right back. I'll be right back! I'll be back. I'm back! Oh yeah! <laughs> I'm back, les amis! <laughs> uh, the game is darker visually, more than the original. This enhanced fear! The fear! Oh, I'm scared! <laughs> oh my god, I'm scared! The fear factor! This enhanced the fear factor. Fantastic! They, they, they incorporate some of the alien isolation gameplay mechanics, like choosing to power up some places to open doors and losing the light in the process of those same areas. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> oh yeah. You've chosen your side. Better controls. The smoothness of the gameplay can really be appreciated with the introduction of the Kinesis and Pellman ability of Dead Space 2. Kinesis is also used to grab and throw explosive canisters, barrels. So better combat system, no input delay, and a bit more responsive. More responsive gameplay. Very powerful secondary fire mode. Powerful! <laughs> <laughs> did they introduce new weapons? If so, I didn't get the chance to use them yet. They make changes to the weapons. Apparently, encourage experimentations. Oh yeah, baby. Well, looks like the plasma cutter is maybe not the best weapon in the game anymore. Any more? Less limbs, severance, perhaps? Will be made whole, Mr. You know? With or without you. Better enemies, more explosions, pulverization, vacuum suctions, va <laughs> vanishment by vortex. <laughs> better enemy AI, better spawning system, enemy spawning system, more gore. Oh, yes! Gore system. <laughs> okay, so wait a minute here. Got to concentrate. Focus a little bit with the task at end. <laughs> I'm pretending that I'm making live commentaries. I'm streaming. <laughs> I'm streaming live. The chat. Shut up. Go watch Avatar. Watch the Avatar. <laughs> Uh, I mean, uh, watch the avatar. Anyway. Damn! Damn it! 
I said, damn it! Gotta dispatch this xenomorph. I mean, uh, necromorph. Necromorph! <laughs> Beside! Beside! <laughs> Beside! Yes, got you. Beside having one of the best UI HUD in the gaming history implemented in 2008 by the original game. Isaac, you okay? <laughs> Gone. Created by Visceral Games. You have to seal the captain's nest. Okay, I can seal the nest, but I haven't been able to reach Hammond since he went to the crew deck. Isaac, our air quality is falling fast. What really make Dead Space stand out among other video games? <laughs> it's their great dismemberment system. Oh yeah! Isaac? Hydroponics tram station is sealed off. You'll need another way there. Take the tram back towards the hangar, then head to the repair station. Remember where you took that broken tram car off the tracks? There's an access door in there. That now, you combine this with this new realistic skin and flesh peeling system. This makes the game more horrifying and fun to watch. Great system. A bit inspired by Resident Evil 2 remake. Better 2D map. The waypoint system is still there. You open up the map, meaning new areas and corridors are now connected to reach different part of the Ishimura. You can deviate from the main path to complete side missions. All this is great for exploration. But some say the side missions are unimpressive. Some say. But some say. Hmm that the side missions are uninteresting. I don't know yet. The overall story and lore of Dead Space, very interesting. Very, 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 very interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Told through gameplay, text and audio log, and hologram. The tram system is improved. Oh yeah, and can be used at any time Good level design with secret rooms to unlock. Lockers and storage containers with higher, higher clearance level! Okay, I heard you the first time. Damn it! Easter eggs! <laughs> All new nice addition to this new iteration of the game. Great. The UI, HUD, inventory are as great as ever. As great as ever. Oh yeah. <laughs> Overall. Over. Ah! <laughs> this game implement, merge seamlessly all the new gameplay mechanics. Gameplay system. System. Surround all those elements with amazing sound design. Fantastic, incredible. System, surround, sound. System, surround, sound! <laughs> I guess it's time to talk about sound. Okay, for that, uh, let's get back in time. 2006. 2006 was the year I bought my first Blu-ray player in Vancouver, Canada. <laughs> the brand what do you expect? Sony, of course. Well, they created the Blu-ray. They created the Blu-ray disc. So I, I, I watch a lot of great movies with great surround sound. Listening to live commentaries made by directors as they watch their movies. Especially John Carpenter with the thing. Hello, John. I appreciate all your work. And Kurt Russell. Super cool. That's why I always wanted to do uh, live commentaries. <laughs> well, it's done now. Not on my movie, perhaps, but um, at least it's related to sci-fi. Dead Space Remake. Okay, I'm gonna... Okay, why not? That, <laughs> that thing. I was in high school. École secondaire. I was in high school in Montreal. And... Uh, 
they allowed, uh, I think it was each month, uh, the best student receive, uh, with the best result, uh, receive free tickets to go see a movie. To watch a movie at the auditorium of the school. And I win some tickets. So, since I'm so bright, oh my god, I'm so bright. <laughs> uh, anyway, I win. I went to the auditorium. I sat down and uh, I watched the movie. Oh my god, it was the thing by John Carpenter. I was, uh, I don't know, 14 years old. I uh, know, not even that. I think I was 11, between 11 or 13 years old. Man, and woman. <laughs> This this I, <laughs> this movie I was shocked I was in shock this I was in shock this was a great movie kick ass and I, I was not into horror at that age of course I was in shock couple years after Alien my first horror movie ever that I ever watched well it was time for the thing I was in shock. And uh, that's it. So, hello, John. Great job. Great job. <laughs> anyway, let's get back on track, shall we? Two thousand seven. Two thousand seven. <laughs> Two thousand seven. Probably the greatest year in gaming history. The golden year. The golden year. The golden year. The last time. The last time. The last time gaming was at its best. In terms of quantity, quality, originality, and innovation. The same year, the same year I saw for the first time the beautiful Jade Raymond walking on stage to present a game. Security request retrieved. Hello, security. This is Dr. Cross in Hydroponics. Something just hit the hole near food storage. We think it's a rogue asteroid. I have people injured from decompression. We need medics and crowd control right away. Oh my god. What the hell is this? Everyone out of food storage! It's alive! How can it be alive? Dr. Brennan, doesn't she help people leave unitology? I bought the game just because she's so cute. <laughs> oh my god. Woo! Facial. It's actually very, very hot in my recording boot and she was super hot also very very hot man i bought the game just because she's so cute so cute and she was smiling jade raymond jade 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 raymond the same jade who founded in 2015 motive studio montreal motive studio studio responsible for the development of Dead Space Remake 2023 Back on track again in the time machine 2007 This is the year I introduced the world of surround sound system in my video games for the first time <laughs> Bioshock was the first game I played. 
on PC. <laughs> oh yeah, I used to be a PC gamer on PC <laughs> with a sound blaster card and Logitech 5.1 surround sound speakers, including the subwoofer. Playing as always, alone in the dark with mouse and keyboard. 21 inch Samsung screen in a 10 by 10 feet room. Total recall. Uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> great sound. It was a blast. It was a blast. Total. Total immersion. Great sound. And it's such a great game. Bioshock. Such, it's such a great game. Great job, Ken. Ken Levine. Fantastic. One year later! <laughs> One year later. 2008. I played Dead Space. Dead Space! <laughs> but this time with very different equipment. Different gear. I played on PlayStation 3. Best console ever built! Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> Best console ever built. In my point of view. Oh yeah! <laughs> Capable of handling uncompressed sound. We're talking about sound here. Equipped with 4.1 surround sound system. Martin! Martin Logan electrostatic loud speakers. Hello, girl and run. Great, uh, great company. It's amazing. Rotel and Yamaha Ampli, including subwoofer. 50 for the first time! For the first time! 50 inch Pioneer Elite Plasma TV! Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> yes, yes, that's right! I played that space on a 50 inch! In 2008! Oh yeah, baby! In a 12 by 25 feet room. Still alone in the dark. Still alone. Still, still, still <laughs> alone in the dark. The immersion was total. Again, as good as Bioshock, but louder, with better sound clarity due to the speakers. Oh yeah, Martin Logan! The sound! The sound of Dead Space was just amazing. How many times? How many times I turn around to watch behind me if someone was really there in the room with me? How many times? How many times? I don't know. A lot! Is there someone? Let's get her. Nah, just some in-game sound effect again. For my second playthrough of the 2008 version of Dead Space, I use my Sony, I use my Sony Studio Monitor headphone. MDR7506. They reproduce almost identical sound of the source material. Still a great sound experience. Still a great sound experience! <laughs> Still a great sound experience. Fast forward! Fast forward! <laughs> Fast forward 15 years later, in 2023, still living in Montreal area in Canada, planet Earth, <laughs> Dead Space Remake. I played it on PlayStation 5. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> and it's remarkable 3D audio. Amazing job, Sony! Amazing job, Sony! <laughs> Amaz amazing job, Sony!
on a 55 inch Samsung TV. Five more inch. Five more inch! <laughs> With the same Sony headphone and also a $15 Panasonic earphones. The sound is just as great. Even more impressive when you realize that you have a $15 earphones on your ears. To summarize, the sound design of Dead Space is just amazing. Always been. And this remake of Dead Space is no exception. Great job, everybody. At EA and Motive Studio. Bravo! Bravo! Ooh -ooh. <laughs> Does it sound... Does it sound good? Yes, they done a great job. It's not a perfect game, far from it, because I'm very critical, because it's a remake. Well, that's it. I don't know what to say. Seriously, I've talked so much. I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough and uh, the conclusion. Better to be cringe than boring. And I've got a boring voice, so uh, I try to make up for it. <laughs> <So> <laughs> I try to make up for it in the conclusion, so... Uh, this is Goyokin, Yann Leblanc. I'm your host, and um, this is the end of the walkthrough. I hope you enjoy it. I had a blast, it was very fun. Uh, it was very fun to make, you know, I laugh a lot. Always wanted to do a, a walkthrough. Hope you enjoy the walkthrough, the playthrough. The conclusion, and um, I think uh, I think EA should do a, a sequel, Dead Space 2 entry. Why? <laughs> Why let the money on the table? EA, don't worry. Next Halloween, you're gonna sell even more copy of Dead Space. You know, so uh, the sell number of Dead Space will go up of your remake next October, no, next Halloween. This is Gekin, Yann Leblanc. See you next time. <laughs> I said cut, damn it! Cut! Cut! I said cut, damn it!